Hey guys, in today's video, we're going to be DIYing this beautiful nutcracker for under $20, all from Dollar Tree materials. So stay tuned. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, you guys, <laughs> I took inspiration from this nutcracker over on Isaac Alexander DIY. If you guys haven't seen it, go check it out. It is my brother's channel. He is, like I've said before, the king of all things holiday, Halloween, Christmas. I saw his nutcracker and I said, girl, I need it, but on a Dollar Tree budget. I feel I have made a duplicate of my brother's Nutcracker. You guys let me know. This is all from the Dollar Tree. Every single thing that I used today was from the Dollar Tree. I will be listing everything that I will be using in the description of this video. It will be a little bit of me talking and a lot of voiceover cause you know, <laughs> mama has two kids. So I will be linking his video in the description of this video as well for you guys to go check it out. Let him know that I sent you over and if I did a good job. Also to the measurements that I'm going to be using for this video, I've taken his video and I have have them. So whatever, if it's 24, I'm using 12. And that's how I do the whole nutcracker. This will be a bit of a longer video because it is a step-by-step -step tutorial on how I am going to duplicate his nutcracker as my own. I hope that you guys enjoy this video. Merry Christmas. My cheeks are cold because it's cold outside. It came out amazing, guys. I cannot wait for you guys to see it. So <laughs> let's get to DIYing. So first things first, what I did was I picked up this foam board from the Dollar Tree. Remember, everything that I'm going to be using, I'm going to be listing in the description. And what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be cutting out a square first. That's going to be the base for our nutcracker and then the second thing i'm going to be doing is i'm going to be cutting out a circle that's going to separate the torso from the legs so the torso is going to be able to sit on this so first things first remember everything that i'm using from his i'm going to be having so the square that i'm going to be cutting is going to be a 12 by 12. so i'm going to be doing this right here i'm gonna do my line there and then I'm going to draw it. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut this out. All right, now for my circle, what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna need it six inches. The easiest way, just grab any type of string that you have, put your pen, Okay guys, so what I actually ended up doing was cutting actually six inches in the diameter. I don't know what I was thinking and I cut a six inch circumference. So, so yes, so now we have a six inch diameter. So now that we have our square for the base, we're gonna go ahead and do, in the video he has two by fours standing here holding the legs. So what we're gonna be actually using is cardboard. Now you can use any type of cardboard box. I picked this one up at the Dollar Tree. So the legs are gonna be 12 inches, so I need this to be 12 inches as well. So now that I have this here, I'm gonna go ahead and cut it in half okay guys so now that i have my 12 inches cut out i'm gonna go ahead and tightly wind it up i don't want it to be wider than two inches because the leg is going to be two inches in diameter you can get some type of measuring tape just to make sure that it doesn't go over that all right guys so i'm going to be using some masking tape that i picked up at the dollar tree you're going to make sure that you want to tie up both ends and you're going to repeat it for both of the legs 
All right, up next, we're gonna be using our white poster board and I'm gonna need 12 inches. So mark that off, level it, make sure that it's a straight line, and then you're gonna go ahead and cut that out. It does not need to be perfect. All the edgings will have coverings. Next, you're gonna fold it in half and you're gonna split now that one down the middle as well. One is gonna be a covering for one leg and the other one is gonna be for the other one that we made. Now you should be able to slide this in and out. It shouldn't be so tight that you're not able to. Go ahead and grab your glue gun and just apply some light glue and stick it on there. Next, we're gonna take our measuring tape and you're gonna measure six inches on this. It should be just about half. Then you're gonna get your black poster board and you're gonna measure six inches on there. Cut that out and then you're gonna split that in half. One is gonna be for one leg and then the other one obviously for the other leg. So now you're gonna apply your hot glue to it. You might have a little bit extra left over from the black and you can either cut it so that it is flush with it or you can just loop it around. That's what I ended up doing for extra support and I just kept the excess on it. So we're gonna be using a white poster board as we did for the legs. And what we're gonna be doing is that we're gonna be measuring out. In total, it's going to be 24 inches. But what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be marking this off six inches for the hat, six inches for the face, and then 12 inches for the torso. So I'm gonna be drawing a line at these measurements. Again, six inches for the hat, six inches for the face and 12 inches for the body. Okay guys, since I'm actually gonna be covering the top, I'm not even gonna put painter's tape. I'm just gonna try to go in very gently to try to paint this area. The paint that I'm gonna be using is this one from the Dollar Tree. Again, I don't want a heavy coat. I just want it enough so that it tints this whiteness of it. We're gonna let this dry up and then we'll come back. All right guys, so for this next part, the DIY that I am following, he has a Google Doc with this image of the face on it. You can print it out. And again, I'm gonna link the video in the description so you can follow it. I did not have a printer. So what I ended up doing was getting some parchment paper, putting it on top of my iPad and just lightly outlining there. It worked well, I think. And again, it was just more for the idea and then the rest I was just gonna fill in. So that's what I ended up doing here and then just cutting out the pieces. All right, now you're gonna get your black poster board and you're gonna lay out your mustache and your eyebrow on it. You're gonna trace it, cut it out, and then you're gonna use it as a stencil for the other side of the face. It was basically the same shape for the other side. You just lay them on the opposite side of the face. So for my eyes, what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be using this bottom piece left over from the torso, just cut it out. And then you're gonna be placing your eye on it and just outlining the shape of it. After that, you're gonna take your pencil and you're just going to copy basically what you're seeing. I'm gonna take a crayon, yes, a crayon, and I'm going to be coloring it blue. This one was a turquoise blue and I'm just gonna go ahead and color that second line in, and then the black is gonna be on that third line. All right guys, to hold the torso in place, he has two by fours on the round discs that we made. So what we're gonna be doing is the same thing that we did for the legs. We're going to be taking our cardboard we have extra left over and we're going to cut out a piece do the same thing roll it up get masking tape nice and tight and we're going to do two of those pieces and at the end it will place like this 
All right, now, now we're gonna start building. So get your hot glue. We're gonna stick these to the round disc first. This is gonna hold the torso in place. So just make sure you hold it. And then we're going to glue in our legs to the square. Now, when you're applying the glue to it, make sure that you put enough to hold it. You're gonna wanna test out how it looks on top. And then you're gonna go ahead and glue the top in as well. What I did afterwards, it was glued on there. I kind of just tilted it and added more glue at the bottom just to make sure it wouldn't move. All right, guys, and now for the nose, we're gonna get the white foam board that we have left over. We're gonna cut out basically a triangle and we're gonna cut out two pieces, glue them together just to make the nose a little bit wider. It definitely pays off at the end, believe me. And because I'm extra, I had to get some of the white poster board and then I glued it to the front to cover that seam. I know, extra stuff, you don't have to do it, but I thought it was totally worth it. You're gonna glue that on there, then we're gonna get the same paint and just kind of lightly paint our nose and leave it to dry. All right, guys, now you're gonna wanna get your red poster board. We're gonna cut out the torso part. So you're gonna cut it at 12 inches. Make sure that it's flush with the white, and then you're gonna use your hot glue gun, and you're just gonna kind of spread it so that it doesn't lump in there. Just when you pour it, just kind of wiggle it around just so that, again, it doesn't lump up. And then now we're gonna do the same thing for the hat. Cut it at six inches and you're gonna cut out that red part. It doesn't have to be perfect because again, there's gonna be trimming that's gonna cover the edges. So you're gonna get the hot glue and then you're gonna do the exact same thing that we did for the tor torso part. All right guys, now you're gonna get that poster board and you're gonna put it around that cylinder disc that we did earlier. Just make sure when you hot glue it that it can easily come off, not too tight, not too loose either though and time to put a face to this nutcracker. So you're just gonna place the pieces wherever you see fit. I ended up doing the eyebrows first, followed by the eyes. Then I grabbed the beautiful nose. Y'all, this nose was glorious. I put that nose and you're just gonna put it wherever you deem fit. Then I added the mustache on our nutcracker. All right guys, for these next couple of pieces, I'm gonna leave the picture on the side for reference. For that gold piece he has on the hat, I'm gonna be using a gold cedar pick, and I just cut off two branches and just glued them one on top of each other. For that gold chain he has on his hat, I'm gonna be using a gold mesh tube from the Dollar Tree and just glue that to the side. I also used a crayon and I just colored the cheeks in. For that black piece on the part of the hat, what I'm actually gonna be doing is using black ribbon. Mine was sheer, so I ended up putting it on top of a piece of the black poster board, but I think it worked out just fine. So for that gold collar, I'm gonna be using some gold poster board. I just cut off whatever I was going to need and I hot glued it to the back. I'm also gonna be using some of that gold cedar picks that I used in the hat to add the accents to that collar and just put them side by side. All right, for this gold ribbon, I'm going to be using a glitter ribbon that I found at the Dollar Tree. It was perfect for this project and I ended up using the whole entire thing with this project. Then we're gonna be using thumbtacks. Yes, thumbtacks for those beautiful buttons on the side. Just make sure to space them out properly and just gently push them in. Look, voila, beautiful. All right, guys, we're gonna be using that gold ribbon for that middle part as well. And I also ended up using, I cut it in half and I put it at the bottom and also an L that I'm not showing here, but you'll see it at the end. All right, guys, next day here, but we're working on arms today. We're gonna to be cutting them at 12 inches. So make sure that you measure it, line it, and then you're gonna go ahead and cut that board. Once you have this piece, you're gonna go ahead and cut that in half. You're gonna be using one piece for one arm and the other piece for the other one. It doesn't need to be super thick. That's why I kind of cut them to size. And you wanna make sure that they don't go over two inches. All right, guys, now for that gold shoulder piece, what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be using some gold cupcake 
holders, I guess, from the Dollar Tree. I put some cotton in there just to kind of hold shape. Then you're gonna push it in to your tube and just kind of like flatten it out. You're gonna get the other piece of that foil and you're just gonna cut it out for that frill on the side. It's gonna look glorious, I promise. They should look like this. All right, so for those gold cuffs, we're gonna be using that same gold poster board and we're just gonna cut off a piece. We're then gonna use that gold ribbon that we've been so using and we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna hot glue it on there and it's gonna look majestic. I absolutely love how these came out. Don't you love them? All right guys, and then for those white gloves, I just ended up using some cotton balls. I hot glued it inside just so that I could kind of position it however I wanted to, and I think they came out great. All right, and then for the shoe, I'm just gonna get some of that black poster board, and I'm just gonna cut out a half circle, a cover for the front of it, and then you can just hot glue it to your boot. It looks great. Then we're gonna get some of that gold trim, and we're gonna put it on top of the boot. All right, and then for the hair, my husband found these beautiful Santas at the Dollar Tree. Thank you, my love. And they were so easy to use. You could just take them right off. I also cut off a little bit at the top just so it could fit a little bit more snug at that very top black line. And guys, it came out so cute. I was really excited. <laughs> All right, so now we're gonna get our nutcracker body and we're just gonna place it on that round disc that we did. We're gonna get some hot glue and we're just gonna put it on the edge and then put it on it. We're gonna do the same thing with the arms, just a little bit of hot glue on top and the bottom and guys, we're done. You guys, I am absolutely obsessed with how he turned out. Brother, I hope I did your Nutcracker justice. Guys, everything I used was from the Dollar Tree and you will find everything in the description of this video. If you guys have any questions, let me know. Let me know if I did an amazing job on this Nutcracker. I'm floored at how it came out. If you guys loved it, like this video, let me know in the comments. I post videos on our family, country life, and DIYs whenever I find them. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Merry Christmas, and I will see you guys in my next video.